Alrighty. Welcome YouTubers. What's going on? Hope everybody's having a good night. Give me one second here. I gotta check something quick. Uh, make sure you can all hear me. Um, let's see here. Devices. Yes. And here I'll turn up my. Uh, oh, that should be good. If that's too loud, somebody say something. Okay, we're back on Oakfield. We got some work to do. I've been paying a lot of, ten of attention to uh, uh, Spectacle Island. Um, so we're going to come back to Oakfield and then uh, maybe after that we'll do some uh, Ballin Craig or some more Spectacle Island. I'll wait for my game to load up here. Cozy under my covers. Under my blankie. Then we're off. So wait. All right. Uh, so we're coming up on, uh, nighttime here, so. Take a meander outside. Open the door up. Close the door. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I left the barn doors open again. Dang it. All right. So. Yeah, we're going to turn that off for right now. So, this is what I was working on last time. I'll bring up the map, and you can see on the right-hand side of the screen, kind of, about, kind of about halfway up, I'm on field 35. Now, that field extension over there, uh, Rabbit Man pointed out, is a free field. Uh, he uh, let me know about it. Because he saw it on Mr. CMP, one of his videos. So as you can see, we have uh, removed all of the brush on this fence line here, as much as I could. Um, there's some of it that's still there. We're gonna have to work around it. This is gonna be one huge, huge grass field. So. Um, I'm going to leave that alone because I don't think I can get to it, but let's get started. We're on our first day of autumn, so we might have to hold this off. Are my fields ready to harvest yet? I have two fields left I need to harvest. They are not. So we are waiting on, this is the one over here, we're waiting on field 18 and 12. Uh, 12 was an arable field, 18 was a grass field that I converted to arable. It is now corn. So we're waiting on those to come in. And so we can do this while we're waiting. We got rain coming uh, here in a little bit. So we're going to go up here. We're going to start on the upper right hand of the uh, this side because there's that's see that borderline there. See, I can show you here. I don't think, yeah, see, you can't get all right up against that uh, cardboard looking um, border there. So we're going to work with what we got to work with. And this is going to be one massive, uh, massive, massive grass field. I don't think, oh, well, this is a grass field too. Um, hmm, that's cool. So, we'll be able to, um, mow that from the looks of it. 
Alright, so let's get this positioned. We're going to do the headlands as usual. Uh, I'll get this over as far as I can. Oopsie. It's going to be tricky, but we'll get it. Oh, this thing's cruising right along, 19 miles an hour. Sweet. We have a lot of grass to lay here. It's going to take forever. But it's going to be worth it because this is going to be my main supply for um, grass and hay <laughs> come uh, next spring, summer. I am thinking about changing the season's length though. Um, I'm on a six day season, so it's kind of, uh, kind of dragging out. You know, you can only, you can only do so much in uh, a couple of days. I will skip out of, uh, once I hit 2100 hours, I'll skip over to, uh, I'll skip over to morning. And now we want, uh, the stream won't drag out uh, like they do sometimes. Can I get away from there? Okay, so we're going to kind of scooch around this. I'm going to come back around. And the planter can make it through there, which is awesome. There we go. That's what we're going to do. Now, I could probably do both fields separate, which I might do. I might do a headland or two around both. Let's see what happens. Hey Carl Wallace, what's up? Thanks for joining, man. How you doing? How was your uh, How was your Friday? It's not Saturday. Well, it's Saturday where I am, but it's still early in the morning. Okay, so I missed one. It's okay, I'll we'll work around it. Uh, there we go. Sweet. Alrighty. Dropping it. Mic muted? Nope. Okay, good. Oh. Chilly day here in Connecticut, let me tell you, man. It's dropped down into the high 30s. Really cold. I do have an open party chat going. Uh, gamer tag is tiny426. Any of my uh, friends who may or may not be listening, uh, if you. Um, Notice that I'm on. You're more than welcome to join. Oh, stop giving me that. I'll have to come over here a little bit more. Really, bro? Cut it out. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to have a little strip there that we're not going to be able to touch from the looks of it. Yeah, whatever. It's free grass, right? Oh, come on. This is going to be the hardest part of this, is getting that head on in. Bro. Come 
Come on, dude. Uh, kill me, Smalls. Kill me. Let's go over here a little bit. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll leave it like that. We'll leave the spacing out a little bit like that, and we'll go from there. And maybe once I'm once I'm able to obtain fields, uh, whatever they are, I'll be able to fix that issue. But for now, we'll just roll with it. There we go. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm doing okay, Tiny. Uh, there, Carl. Huh? My bad. Uh, had a good day at work. Had a, uh, had a long night last night. It was kind of rough, but made it through. Um, day was good. Kind of overslept, but I didn't miss work, so that's a plus. Uh, no, um, I work on Saturdays from 12 in the afternoon till uh, 9 o'clock at night. Uh, then I come home, I chill out with my, my wife and kids. Kids go to bed about 9, 30, 10 o'clock on Saturdays. And then uh, Saturdays the wife takes the two youngers, younger ones to church and uh, I catch up on my sleep. Um, the oldest one does the same. His, uh, his issue with his seizures kind of knocks a lot out of him, so he, he does the same as I do, he catches up on his sleep, because his seizures are triggered from uh, exhaustion. So, uh, him and I stay home on Sundays to kind of chill out and vegetate. Uh, Sunday afternoons we do as much as we possibly can with the uh, youngins and my wife and I typically on Mondays, uh, Sundays and Mondays are my day off, so Sunday's family day, Sunday or Monday is uh, a day out with the wife, do our shopping or whatever, go out to lunch, have a good time. We got eight hours of free time, so when the kids are in school, that's when we do what we have to do. Well, what about you, any good plans? Oh, sweet. Taking it easy. Word. I'm going to speed up time here just a little bit to get to, uh... uh good. The sheep are doing okay, so we're going to kick over here and turn up to 15. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Uh, Get to 2100 hours and skip the night, and then uh, we'll turn the uh, turn the time back down.
What's up, uh, Rockin? How you doing? Thanks for joining. See if I can hire a worker. Let's see how straight of an arrow we can go. Let's see here. Let me leave a little overlap here. Let's see if he'll go straight through the fence I made. Or the hole in the fence I made. Cold night here in the state of Connecticut. Let me uh, get off the old S9 here. We'll take a peek, see at the time. Turn up the temp uh, on the weather app. Let's see here. Let's update that to where I am. It is 39 degrees where I am. Kind of cold, not gonna lie. Got home the night, it was 58 degrees in the house, and nobody decided to turn on a furnace. Got all of it. Stop there because I gotta get around that birch tree. I'm going over this way first. Come back around on this side. There we go. See what he does here. I think this is going to take a couple of tankfuls of seed here. That's for sure. Let him go through that. Okay, we'll stop that there. There we go. Okay, come back around here, get as close to that tree as I can get. Perfect. Alright, so line this guy back up and off we go. Alright, so actually, you know, we're going to stop in there. We got to um, shut this off, shut that off, shut those off. Get turn time back down, and I'm going to skip to 
the morning. Um, do I want to do dawn or do I want to do morning? Hmm, do dawn. Uh, hopefully, uh, that's cool. And there's the rain. Sweet. Oh, well, quick rainstorm. Quick passing shower. Go, cool, go. Cool. Sometimes it takes a while for this to catch up with itself. So we're going to wait for a minute or two. Come on. I know you can do it. Come on. Hopefully the PlayStation doesn't mess up on me again. Did that to me uh, a couple of nights, uh, two nights ago, night before last. Alright, so we are on day three of autumn. And, uh, wow, that came in quick. <laughs> okay, so let's get this going again. And uh, we'll get this food planted. We'll get this planted. So. Well, that's going to look a little weird, but whatever. <laughs> uh, buddy of mine has ADD, ADHD. He'd go nuts if he saw me do that. <laughs> uh, zoom in over here. There we go. So that's, that's that whole field now is all one piece. And, uh, yeah, we didn't, uh, we didn't plow it, so we're just uh, we're just using this as a grass field. So it's gonna be a massive grass field. It's gonna suit our purposes perfectly. Thanks, Lunatic. Appreciate it. Appreciate you joining in. Are you still, uh, are you still broadcasting on your end? Try to multitask. Sometimes I'll I'll uh, I'll be broadcasting while I'm watching somebody else's stream, but then uh, I get uh, caught up in multitasking, and then yeah, bad things happen. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm on Oakfield tonight. I had to take a break from uh, Spectacle for maybe a night. I don't know if I'm going to hop back on there later or not. I'm definitely, uh, I want to get this uh, grass field I made planted and we're going to go from there. Oh, my turtles are beating the crap out of each other. That's awesome. I couldn't have worked out any better. Sweet. Hmm. Just taking out more of that than I wanted, but oh well. For everybody watching, Lunatic.com has his own YouTube channel. Pretty, uh, pretty awesome content. Just jump over there and take a peek. See, uh, I've taken a liking to watching him on uh, on YouTube at work when I'm busy at uh, at the shop. So keeps me entertained, keeps a smile on my face when I'm having a, a meh day. But, uh, 
definitely go check his channel out. Uh, him along with uh, uh, Necro666. Uh, he's got a good channel on. Gives you. They work together on this and they uh, stream at the same time, so you can bounce back and forth between their two channels and get uh, different perspectives of uh, what's going on. It's a pretty cool setup. Let's see, can I sneak through there? Yes. Cool. Keep him going. I'm going to have to move that little new hole in there soon. So, for those of you watching, I do take uh, um, short breaks here and there because I usually stream anywhere between uh, two to two and a half hours. Sometimes it's a lot longer than that. So, when nature calls, uh, I have to take a quick break. I don't know what will happen if I let this guy keep going. I think he'd try to drive into that other field there. No, nope, he does stop. So you know what? We're just going to let him do what he's going to do. And I'll try to avoid my uh, ADD tendencies with what he's doing. Because he's going to rip off everything we just planted. But whatever. It is just grass. I need to bounce over to this guy and get him out of the way. I'm just going to move him into a little field here, out of the way. I hit a button, no, I shouldn't have. There we go. Anytime, Lunatic, uh, there's a bunch of you guys I watch uh, while I'm at work on our downtime. Anybody that can put a smile on my face and give good content is anybody who's worth watching in my book. I'm going to put the headland in here and see if I can't get that to stop. This is not a scored off field by any means, so this is going to be interesting to see what he does when I hire the worker. Uh, that's my next step on uh, Spectacle Island is a uh, a wood chipper. I think I'm gonna buy the uh, the stems 
one you can hook up to a tractor and then uh, I'm going to start a collection of uh, wood chips to sell on spectacle uh, the gens not the stens that guy right there I have the money for it I might as well put it to use is it warming up in here yet? Jeez. Kinda, sorta, maybe. Not really. I don't know. Driving me nuts. So he is gonna do that. Okay. Hey, Carl. Welcome back, man. Thanks. Uh, Oi, me. I'm not you on him. Really, I'm not. <laughs> We're going to break this into two fields, but I think I'm going to mow it as one. Ooh, DJ must be working tonight. Yeah, I'm not too tired there, Carl. Just, uh, you know, I woke up at 2 o'clock. Um, went to work for 8 hours. Now it's 2 o'clock again, so... I'll be on for quite a bit tonight. I got some, I got a lot of stuff I want to get done here. And not just on this map. So after I'm done uh, doing what I got to do here, uh, I'll be shutting this broadcast down and starting another one. And it's either going to be this or uh, Bal and Craig Estates. I haven't really decided yet. Uh, Bal and Craig I've got on uh, three day seasons so there is stuff to do over there but I'm waiting for my uh, field of straw to come in so I can get my cows some some straw and power food because uh, they need it severely let's get that taken care of so there's uh, some no obvious break in the the hedges there. I'm gonna swing around, kind of close to that thing. Yep, perfect. Just what I wanted. There we go. Uh, there's not gonna be any 48-minute streams of me snoring and uh, doing nothing. So no worries. Of course, DJ was. Uh, begging for me to re-upload it but I deleted the video right off of YouTube and I don't I don't think there's a way to recover it after that and I didn't save it to the uh, PlayStation so <laughs> not gonna do it Gonna have to mow the churchyard for uh, Felipe McCracken. You know it, lunatic. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it, man. Am I still planting grass? I really hope I'm still planting grass. Uh, yes, I'm still planting grass. Sorry. Right, cool. I think I am. Oh no, it got changed. How did it get changed? Stop. Oh no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How did that get changed? 
Oh, fail. Oh, that whole strip got... Oh, man. Really? Oh. Killing me, Smalls. That's all right. You know what? We'll have to go down those two borders there and replant grass. Ugh. Well, I guess this season it's going to be barley on this side. <laughs> Dang. Um, let's see here. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. I was wondering why that was dropping so quick. Epic fail. That's all right. We'll plant some winter barley and we'll harvest it next year and then we'll uh, then we'll turn it into a grass field. <laughs> uh, field 35 is safe though. I only made a couple of passes there so I can fix that really easy. Put a worker on this. We're going to have to fix the division on the fields here too. That sucks. I can't believe that happened, man. There you have it. Uh, borders are green for grass. And the middle's barley. I'm going to fix this strip right here. Well, at least it's not a lot to have to fix there. So. Definitely gonna have to go refill the cedar now. Way to go, Tiny. This is feeling me. You know what? I might just leave it alone. Leave, uh, leave what I planted as uh, barley and we'll, we'll plow it under when. Uh, I'm not going to fix the edges there. I want those to stay there. So. Finish this up and we'll, we'll plant grass. I'm going to have to go refill the cedar now. I think I'm still in a window for planting barley. Yes, I am. Temps have dropped for soybean and corn. Uh, see, we're in D3 of autumn. So, are my other fields ready to be harvested? That is the next question. Oh, what am I doing here? What is that? Uh, no. What's going on with those fields, man? That's driving me nuts. Hmm. Okay, let's shut off the grass icons. There we go. Hmm. Something going on here. I don't like it. I don't know why that hasn't come in yet. I know I planted it at the right time. <laughs> So we need to do this. We need to change this over to grass. Again. So we're going to come up here. I'm going to start the cedar on this side.
Oops, oh, Sahara, come on. Okay, and we're gonna fix this part here because I think that got barley too. Come on, work with me here, dang it. Alright, there's that. And then we'll run this back up the other side really quick. Fish. Nope, I've got a snag on that tree again. Alright, so there we go. Maybe we'll put a headland in on this side, just for ha uh -huh. Come on, get off of that. There's nothing there. I ain't that close. Jeez. There we go. And this way this will all at least look somewhat okay-ish. Oh, there's trees driving us. This is the one tree you couldn't get out of there with the stump grinder. It wouldn't let you take them down. Okay, there we go. Well, that's fixed now. Whatever's still in there will get uh, taken out next year when I plow it up. So. I'm going to make these two strips here. Grass again. You will be able to differentiate that? I hope so. Man, do I hope so. Is it going to pick the right way to go? Maybe. Let's take a peek at the map here. Well, good news is, is if he's going to do that on his own, he'll fix my mess, my uh, screw up there on the way back through. I don't have to worry about it. So let's take a peek here. Zoom in over here. Yeah, it looks like that's going away. That's the case. That's perfect. Yep. We've got one little thin strip right there. So that's going to be fixed. And I don't have to worry about that. Cool. And then we should stop and turn around. Sweet. Sweet. Let's see here. I don't have FS clubs on. Um, let's see here. Let's go check out where I take stream while I'm watching.
Thanks for the follow. I didn't get your name quick enough, but I do appreciate it. I'm getting ready to stuff my face with some fudge. Popping back and forth between everybody else's streams at the moment. We got FS Club streaming with Smoke. Smokey. I'm watching, uh... Necro uh, 666's uh, stream along with uh, Lunatic Com. He's another good one. Good guys, good bunch of people. So wherever, whoever catches this, really go check them out. Give them a sub. Give them a like. It's the best part of this that I've found so far in this farm sim community on YouTube. Is everybody does their best to help everybody out. I am not in this for the monetary value of it. I am only here to stream and have a good time and bring you all hopefully quality content, which I try my best. So my mic will be popping on and off. So anybody's got any questions, let me know.
Sorry, folks. Had to take time out for the little guy. He wanted snuggles. Yeah, if you still got a little one that wants snuggles, you stop what you're doing and you give him snuggles. So we're going to go refill the cedar here one more time. We're going to try this again. And uh, we're going to finish planting that uh, field 35 of grass. Because of my mess up. Make sure we're in the right trigger here because I don't want to refill the fertilizer tank is part of it and we don't need a lot so we'll stop at about the same spot as the fertilizer I want to leave this in the seed tank over the winter time come back to it and have uh, grass growing in it alright back at it let's head up Finish that field up. That'll be done. The you know, Seasons mod really, really gets, uh, really nails it on the head for realism. Uh, you swore up and down, they'd never see it come to console, but then you look at this and you're like, dang. Kind of glad it did. So, we're going to keep an eye on our sell prices too as we're coming into winter. Uh, we are going to have snowfall here on Oakfield, so. I need to have enough money to buy some things that I need to buy. Because uh, I've uh, used this setup before and it works really good. Uh, I have a sweeper to use up in the yard at the barn for clearing snow. Uh, for the majority of it though, we are going to be utilizing something else. There, so let's get this unfolded. I'll finish up this uh, this last little bit right here. This is all I got to do. Ran out of seed. So we're gonna finish this up. We'll start right here. -ish. So perfect, got right up against that island there. Stupid that's a hill. It would be nice to be able to level that off. But whatever. It is what it is. Alright, here we go. So that's done. Though. So, we will take this back up to the farm. I need to... I want to get this guy up there first because we're going to get start getting the equipment put up and organized at uh, today and then three more days of autumn. So, give me plenty of time to get things squared away. I got three more days of uh, possible harvest time for my uh, corn and soybean crop, which I want to get in. I don't know why it hasn't, uh, hasn't opened up yet. It's driving me nuts. Let's go into cab view. We'll drop this down a little bit. Put up the plow so I'm not plowing up the driveway. There we go.
It's a long ride back to the farm from up there, man. Let me tell you. This is why I wish I had uh, a couple of peeps to utilize when I'm working on the farm. It's not too bad when you have a couple of people helping you out. You can transport more than one piece of equipment. When you're doing it on your own, you're going to do it one piece at a time. I'm not one for resetting equipment to get back there. Ugh, I just can't get over the scenery here. This is freaking amazing. Put on some travel tunes here. Ground moisture is at 25% of corn. Hmm. Only at 85, 83% milk. I don't think that's ready yet. Well, it doesn't too look too bad at the uh, churchyard. But we agreed to mow it, so we're gonna mow it. I don't want uh, Felipe and McCracken getting upset with us, since we're his neighbor. Rough road here.
Well, welcome to the stream, folks. Thanks for joining. Uh, let's go check on the chickens. Uh, oh, we got some eggs in here. Cool. <laughs> Hello, ladies. And gents. Okay, let's see here. I wish I could get the lawnmower into this field here. Keep the grass, then I'll be able to find all the eggs easier. <laughs> I don't think there's any up here. They pretty much keep them located around this area. Here is where the feeders are. I think that's it. Okay, cool. Right in Terryville there, man. Okay, so that's all finished up. I think I can, yeah, I can mow. Cool. I uh, can get some hay in here. Some more hay in. I might be able to actually make some silage bills too. That's, I don't know if I thought a wrapper. Uh, let's take a peek here. Do I have a baler wrapper? I do. Cool. So, with everything I've got, maybe I can get some uh, mowing in here. That's done. Do some clean again, so um, yeah, that one door open I should be able to swing it in there. Not into the wall. Come on, Tiny. I 
Come on, come on. Yep. Okay, so we need to open the other door up here. Got kind of a kind of a little bit of a cluster going on in here, so let's see if I can't straighten some of this out. That's not where it belongs. Neither one of those are where it belongs. Okay. So we're gonna kind of sneak this. this on the other side here. I can't put that in the harvester. I need that still. Let's see here. Harvester might have to go back over where it belongs. Let's uh you know let's get the corn editor on this. I'm going to drive out and drive back in. There we go. I'm going to need to get, I got to get that fuel, that fuel corn in. I don't want to lose that. That'll open up a little bit more room in here to work. Move stuff around and get everything organized. Come on, I want you to uh, engage with this. What's going on here? Okay. Oh, that was weird. I don't know what happened there. We made a bigger mess here, I think. Yeah, I think that'll work there better. We'll just leave that guy right there. Gotta close these doors up. So let's get these closed up. Uh, did I shut that off? Yeah, okay. Space in the barn for storage. Perfect. Now let's get the rest of this stuff organized here. It's got, it's got made a mess out of real quick in here. I don't like it. Gotta keep it nice and clean and organized. This just is not working with me here. Come on. There we go. Bring out this door. Come back and straight up and perfect. There we go, that's better. There's that. Get my tether and my cultivator straightened out here. Well, I'm just not having good luck tonight, staring. Come on.
things have tiller, t tiller wheels on it, so I gotta be careful as I'll sharply turn. And how fast I back up. There we go. I get that close to the tipper there. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Let me get out and take a peek, see if that, see how close I am. Perfect. I can straighten out the cultivator. Which I don't know if I'm really gonna keep this. I don't really have purpose for it at the moment. Probably should have leased it. Right there in the corner. You okay dude? All right. Okay, so there's all that. There's all the equipment put away. So this we do not need for now. So we'll close up the doors. Um, I need to check my machinery status. Oh, excuse me, folks. So corn, we're not going to get much of a yield off of right now. I'm out of sunflowers. We have a decent payload of wheat. And we have a decent payload of canola. Got some corn left. So, okay. Oakfield can't plant sugar cane on, so that's out of the question. Um, we can do poplar, but... It's only 217 pounds, uh, 217 pounds per liter, so you know, we have to get a massive stockpile of that. Um, of course, poplar I could plant if I had a field to plant it in. But we're doing good so far. Um, Oh, uh, where's my tractor? Right there. I'm going to put this back over here. For now. Oh, I wanted to bring up my window for my, uh... Let's check this. 13.2 engine hours. Over 10 days until maintenance is required. Okay, so let's check all that. Oh, well, the flash is on. 25 hours left on that, or 10 days. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have some work to do in the winter time. Uh, we got to get this back up to the farm. I don't want this left out and freezing. So they're selling our liquid fertilizer tanks. We're going to keep those indoors. So we are set up for um, bringing in some crop in the springtime here, so that's cool. This has got 15.9 uh, hours from the looks of it till it needs serviced. Might save all that for winter time, winter time projects. something there.
case out of the way here. Oh, my case, Massey Ferguson. My bad, folks. Oh, get these doors open up. I'll get that guy in here. Uh, we have to drive in, so we need to lower the rear tanks. And this just barely squeezes right in here. You barely know where the harvester is away. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now all of our fertilizer equipment is packed up for the winter. Uh, keep everything nice and warm. We put it back here by the door. Or by the uh, back wall here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. This happens to be a perfect little storage room for this thing. If I can get it in there without hitting everything, it would be even better. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, and it's all set now. Now, can I go harvest my corn? That's what I want to know, because I'm getting antsy here. We got today, tomorrow, and that's it to get my corn in. And I have a feeling that I'm running out of time here. Uh, I am running out of time. I'm already into mid, uh, mid fall, autumn, whatever, and uh, I'm running out of time. Corn is ready to harvest. What about soybeans? That's ready to harvest too. So I gotta get my butt in here before I lose the crops. Let's get this done. Only one more good day of uh, harvest time, so we gotta get this done quick. What is going on here? Come on. time here. Got six more days where they get harvest time. Today, tomorrow. Yeah, Let's turn up time just a little bit more. <laughs> I say a little bit, I say all the way. I want this stuff ready to go here.
Come on. Change. I'll harvest you. I don't know what I might be listening to. Oh, no, crop moisture's off, so that's right. Well, this is getting aggravating. We're in the last stages, and they won't just—they won't just come in. Oh, and we're getting late in the day here. It's five fifty-five in the afternoon. Almost six.
Don't need it for a pin. Hey, Dom, what's up, man? How you been? Not a sir. Just uh, prepping for winter here. We got three more days of fall, and uh, I got two fields left I gotta harvest, and they're being stubborn. So I'm patiently waiting, and while I'm doing that, I'm getting rid of some stuff I don't really need at the moment. Got ourselves a little bit more income for the winter, and I need to. What's going on here? Why can't I move this? How is that possible? There it goes. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this, and uh, I need to be able to purchase a new toy for the winter. So I'm gonna get rid of some stuff here. Not a lot of stuff, just this, just this thing and uh, maybe the flatbed trailer. But let's see. I got. Today and uh, today's almost over with. I got one more good day uh, before there, I get hit with rain. And if I get hit with rain, uh, that's it. I'm done till uh, I'm done till springtime. Corn's coming in slow. I got uh, soybeans. I got harvest, and nothing wants to seem to finish growing. before I lose the file. Looks like uh, Lunatic Com's getting ready for another stream where he's finishing one up. Alright, so let's go get rid of this. Now I got a, a little bit longer video of uh, Betty up on Facebook. Or uh, not Facebook, YouTube. You want to go check her out. She looks better in the dark. <laughs> trailer unloaded. We're going to sell that and we're going to sell the uh, gooseneck hitch as well because we don't really need them at the moment. Oh, that's a garage door. Alrighty, so is that in the box? Yep, good enough. Okay, and we'll cut around here and... Oh. Okay, here's that off. Well, here I am driving all over the place here.
There's not a lot of money for those, but oh well. We don't really need them, like I said, right now. So. <coughs> Attention, Tiny. I'm crashing all over the place. Ugh. Come on. Hopefully, everybody can hear me on my mic. It's not getting muffled by my uh, my blanket. Boy, they getting tired again. Oh no! What happened? I wasn't even looking at the screen. Did that vehicle just hit me? Wow. Sent me for a tumble. Good morning, Sam. Thanks for joining the chat. That was, uh... Wow. Don't text and drive, kids. Bad things happen. Thanks for joining the stream, Sam. Appreciate it. Oh, boy. I'm all over the place now. Uh, let's turn it. Let's turn the split. Let's set the cruise back down to 50 and just cruise. <laughs> there we go. Nope, that's tree I lied. Alrighty, there we go. How you doing, Sam? on me now. There you go. I back this in here like this. Come on. Work with me. Austin Powers moment. Cool. How did I manage this? I know I, put, I backed this thing in here. From over there. What's going on? Wow. This is just going to get aggravating. So we'll do this. Nope. I lied. Won't do that. There we go. Maybe now I can swing out? No. I know I got this thing in here somehow. Come on. There we go. Just have to Austin Powers it around a little bit. figure. Come on, man. You're killing me. Okay, well, that's just going to sit there because I don't want it to mess with that later. Let's go put the dodge back.
So since I don't have any animals, I'm gonna sell off those bills right there. We can a little bit more money. See if I can screw this up. Yep, right off the bat. Gotta love it. Okay. Whoever invented dolly curlers should have been shot. Okay. No, nope. just kidding. Come on. Swing it the other way. There we go. Too far the other way. We gotta keep it controlled. Silage bills are worth a decent amount here, I guess, huh? Three hundred and seventy-two dollars a bale, pounds a bale, cool. And so they make more. Uh, no, I don't want to shut that off. I just want to pick the trailer back. There we go. I'm going to put the dodge away. I'm coming up on uh, night time here, so we have two days or one more good day for harvesting and uh, hopefully get some grass uh, cut. And <coughs> uh, Dave Bollinger, you're more than welcome to join my party chat if I'm friends with you. Uh, I do have an open party chat going. Uh, I do not have a multiplayer going tonight. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. And if you give me a second, I'll explain why. Hopefully I'm good now. I was working on a uh, <clears throat> freshen uh, map a couple of nights ago, and uh, someone or something happened to my uh, PlayStation where I lost three hours worth of game time. <clears throat> And uh, lost an entire startup map on Hagenstad. Or Hagenstad, or however it's pronounced. Uh, I literally <clears throat> had to start over from scratch. So, at the moment, I am only accepting friend requests of friends of friends. And um, that's it for now, so... No hard feelings. Uh, it's going to be that way for a while. Uh, I will accept friend requests from anybody else that I am already currently friends with. Um, but that's it. So, with that being said, that's two hours on uh, Oakfield. Um, uh, let's see what else kind of trouble I can get into. I don't want to bore you with the golden days of farming. That's the one my son makes. My the uh, he edits the videos I make. So 
Um, hmm. Well, we got uh, Soznov guys doing stuff on there. That was a screw map. Any uh, suggestions for whoever may be watching? We got uh, Goldcrest. Uh, we have my Seasons map of Goldcrest Valley. Uh, we have my screw around map on Soznovka. We have Spectacle Island. We have Ballancrane. And uh, Golden Days of Farming. So, any suggestions would be uh, more than welcome. <clears throat> I do have Hagenstab, but then I'd have to re download the map because I have to take that off to. I have to uninstall that to install this. <laughs> so. Uh, Hagenstad is a uh, full-on Massey Ferguson tractor map. The old uh, Massey pack. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break. Uh, I am. Uh, I'll wait for suggestions on uh, what anybody wants to play. I will stay in my. Uh, stream here so anybody can make suggestions Dom you still with me or did you uh, take off again <clears throat> let me know in the chat
all right folks so gold Grass valley it is i've got 84 hours in on that map and i haven't played it since uh june of uh this year that would have been the day before my youngest son's birthday so let's hit it up shall we i don't think i need any of that stuff so we're good um go down here we gotta turn some stuff on because this stuff wasn't in here the last time i used it uh, let's see here I'm coming into my second year. I think we're on the second or last day of uh, winter on Goldcrest. and seasons. Uh, let's get all my stuff turned back on here that I may or may not be using. Uh, yes, we need that. Yep, yep. Um, keep going. Yep, yep. Don't need that one on. Don't need that one on. Nope, got to keep that. Uh, a windmill water supply, we don't need that because we have a water tower. Uh, pig food silo we are going to put up. Um, yes. Let's see here, don't need that. That geo should be turned on, yep, Midwest. Uh, we'll, leave, uh, we'll leave crop destruction off for now. Uh, I do want that. Yes. Uh, don't need that on. Don't need that. Place the manure shop. I do want that. And that. Uh, don't need trees on. That's a meter. 80 Borto. 6 meter. I'll put that on. Don't need that because I got the in game ones. Yes. Yes. And yes. There we go. Welcome to the broadcast, everybody. Thanks for joining. Uh, let me close this out. And shut that off, because my phone's dying here. Close all apps. There we go. Okay. Yep, good. So that's all set. <laughs> Haven't been on this map in a really long time. I don't even think I... I'm, I don't even know if I did the nugget search on this one. Everybody seems to be waking up. It's uh, 3, 3, 23 after 3 in the morning where I am. <clears throat> yeah, I've got a lot of mods. Plus, I, I still didn't make it a, a multiplayer either. Uh, we'd have to be friends on PlayStation uh, 4 as well. So we are 2 a.m. in the morning. I've missed the, I think I've missed the cutoff time for skipping the night. Yep, okay, so this is my Goldcrest Valley map. I have not been on here in ages. Um, well, my uh, wash station is deleted because I took it off. I'll have to fix that. I'll have to re-download that mod. So what was I doing? This is my uh, this is the barn I replaced on this map. So this is where I store all my goodies. Uh, can I turn the light switch on? Turn the light switch on. There we go. Yeah, that's uh, that's my my that's my barn. Oop, uh, let's shut the light off. Light off. There we go. So we'll jump around until I find my workstation here. And uh, looks like I just dropped off a little wood to a sawmill. Uh, how many seasons, days? Oh, I'm running nine day seasons. We're going to change that right now. <laughs> that's too many. Uh, that's way too many. Um, 
season instructions on. We're going to drop that to six days. Uh, snow mode on, crop moisture off. So, we have two days of winter left. And we're logging. So, let's get this back over to the logging site. And that put us right in the right in at six o'clock in the morning, so that works out perfect. And we're gonna do a quick uh, save here, so that gets updated. Let's show up that help window. There we go. Now we're good. Mm -hmm. Took out a road sign. I got two of them. No bueno, man. Sounds sounds kind kind of well. Let's turn the sound back up a little bit, shall we? Put everything at 30. I think it'll be good. Everybody still hear me? Okay, I hope. My apologies, Dave. I only have my settings set to um, friends of friends being able to send me requests because of the issue I had a few nights ago. Um, if, you, if your profile is public, I would, uh, I would gladly search your gamer tag and take a look at your profile. Um, because of what happened the other night, one person ruined it for everybody. So... No, like I said, no offense. It's just I'm not running the risk of losing three hours worth of work and having to start all over, or even an hour's worth of work. Uh, so, like I said, something or someone tried to do something on my uh, PlayStation the other night, and I lost three hours of uh, game time, and I had to start all over again. So. You know, from personal, it's just, I'm a lot more cautious now. And my profile was not private. Trust me, it wasn't. Uh-oh. Did I not service this thing? Does this thing need serviced? Ooh, maintenance required. It's stalled, so we gotta get this back to the shop. Not cool, man. All right, let's get uh, let's get this unhooked, and we'll go for a quick run here. We never had that. I didn't realize I'd run that many hours up on this thing.
Now we're going to change my money units back to what they belong on. Uh, miles per hour, kilometers, yes, and that should still be set at Fahrenheit. Awesome, good. There we go. Uh, we're going to take this back to the farm and do some maintenance on it. I can't imagine what that's going to cost. I didn't realize it racked up that many hours on this thing. Uh, I do have Mud Runner, but I do not have the new day, uh, DLC yet. Uh, that requires money. I am a single income family with uh, three kids and a wife, and I'm the only one that works. So I do what I can when I can, and uh, that's all I can do. But after seeing everybody with the uh, out and about playing with the new American uh, Wilds uh, DLC, Trust me, I am uh, I'm biting at the bullet to get it. Hopefully this will get back to the shop before it stalls again. It's nice to see the, uh, the uh, sped up the traffic here a little bit. Oh, that was my turn right there. Oop, I cut that car off. It's, a, it's an okay game. Uh, it took, uh, I, I was all gung-ho to get it when it first uh, came out. And uh, I played it quite a bit. And then uh, I just kind of lost its flair. But I guess this new uh, American Wilds uh, DLC made a big difference. So. I don't think I have any sunflowers. I don't even know what I have in my storage here. I have nothing. I sold it all. Uh, well, yeah, it could be. <laughs> uh, the problem is, is I didn't, uh, did the vehicle maintenance on this, so... Uh, when you do that, your vehicle's prone to stalling, or sometimes it won't even start. So you have to you have to perform the maintenance on it here, either at the store or here, and that's going to cost me a hundred thousand dollars because I forgot to do it. Wow. Oh no! Why did it say that? Oh, value. Okay. So maintenance is four hundred and or four thousand two hundred and thirty four dollars. Well we need to do it. So that's all set now. So we get another thirty hours of work time on this one. Back up to my counter we here that way when I get over there I can hook right up to my uh log forks. I am. Uh I haven't ordered I haven't uh ordered the digital copy yet, but it is in the works. Uh ninety bucks is a lot of money for uh platinum edition with all the DLCs and the season pass, but it's worth it.
get rid of that help window again. Oh, goodness. So, I own, I still only own fields uh, 15, 14, and 12. We might expand that coming into um, spring here. It depends on what happens. Still got a substantial amount of money, so it's not like I can't afford another field. Bring up the mini map here so I know where to turn, which I'm going to turn to the next one. Go right here and take a left. Nope. <laughs> Wrong one. There we go. See, I got about five people watching here. Everybody's welcome to comment and join in on the chat stream. I prefer that. I like talking to people on uh, the chat stream. That's cool. It comes out four days before my wedding anniversary. I got married to my wife 16 years ago on the 24th of November. awesome. So they're all used to, the trees all used to be in the middle here and all over here and I've cleared all of this save for that one little tree over there which I don't know if I can get to at the moment. Um, yeah I can get to that one so we'll drop that one next. Was 13 in 1993. <laughs> I am 38 years old. I have a 16 year old, a 14 year old, and a 9 year old son. So this is how I've made money over the winter on this farm. This was my crash course in seasons. So obviously because I don't have the money for the scorpion, we have been hand we've been cutting all the trees down with chainsaw. Trust the old uh what is that, a, a steel or a husky? Husky. Um, this is what I've been doing all winter. Cutting down trees, taking them to the sawmill. We had a contract for uh, a bunch of wood. Got a whole bunch of new homes going up. Some uh, recreational projects up for the local parks. So, this is what we've been doing. And... Uh, if you notice that little Massey Ferguson track loader up there, that's what we've been using to 
skid the trees uh, back up to the landing and load on the trailer. Or we'll just come down here and pick them up and take them back up to the trailer. How'd you break your finger, man? You broke it and you had to have it stitched up? That's, uh, that's impressive. I've had stitches before and I've had broken bones before, but neither, neither both at the same time. Dom Witt, you still in the chat, man? You still hanging out with us, or did you fall back asleep? Dom Witt's my, one of my moderators. Oh, well, well, yeah, that'll happen. I used to cut wood year round with my father, and if anything, accidents can happen. I think the worst, uh, worst thing we ever dealt with was, uh, he put a piece of wood through the back window of his truck, and, uh, got his finger caught in a piece of uh, pine while we were splitting it. The log kicked out of the log splitter and he was holding it into the log splitter. And when the splitter started to split the wood he didn't realize his thumb fell into the crack in the wood and when it kicked out of the splitter it uh, caught his thumb and pinched it. He didn't break it didn't lose it, but uh, it was all he could do to keep from ripping his thumb out of the uh, the crack in the wood. Because it was, uh, <laughs> it's all he wanted to do. <laughs> okay, so we're starting to lag out a little bit there, so we're going to get this mess cleaned up. That's a honking tree right there. We're going to have to split that in two, I think. That's a big one. Here we go. Maybe now I can trim the rest of this. Uh, yep, there we go. Okay, good. That's still long. Wow, that was a huge tree. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. I don't think I've dropped one that long yet. Oh, big, 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 big. From here all the way down there? Yep, that was a big tree. Alright, so let's start picking up the mess I just made.
No, oh, easy. I don't want to have a, I don't want a log contest here on the map. We just want to pick things up and put them down. So Dave, where are you from? I'm from uh, East Coast, Connecticut, United States. And uh, my moderator there, Dom Witt, he's uh, in Delaware, I believe he said. Are you in the United States or are you over across the pond? Finally, daylight's hitting. Cool. Yeah, no worries, man. stay proud I was born in Huntington Indiana myself that's cool I was born in Huntington Indiana in 1980 and uh, my parents moved to the state of Connecticut uh, about a year after I was born I'm gonna load this uh, this way I don't want to Heavy butt of that thing sticking out over the end of the trailer. Extreme logging with tiny. There we go. Alright, sweet. you're located in Indiana we were uh, Huntington is right off the tip of Lake Michigan uh, my old man had some very uh, pretty cool pictures of the uh, fog that would freeze on the trees where they uh, used to live it's pretty wild time scale set on here. 5x? Okay. We'll leave it at that for now. Get the sun off here quicker. And I'm gonna go through and stump grind all my stumps here. Got a whole butt, a butt ton of them over here on the hillside. There's 200 people uh, watching the stream. You guys are more than welcome to join the chat stream. I, I would love to know who you are. Talk to you. Promise I don't bite. DJ uh, Gohan must have been busy last night. He wasn't, uh, didn't even see him on the PlayStation when I uh, started it up tonight. Or last night, as I should say, or this morning, or whatever. Come on, let go. There we go. Oh, oh that's tree limb. Tree stump. Oops.
kind of early to be up uh, there, Dave, no? Uh, growing up as a kid at eight, nine years old. I grew up on a small farm here in the northwest corner of Connecticut uh, with my brothers and sisters and parents. We had uh, cows, we were in 4-H, we had goats, chickens, rabbits, a horse, couple of horses, and uh, we didn't do any kind of uh, crop farming, but we did uh, bale hay. For the for feed for the animals, for the cows and the horses. We had uh, a 1939 Ford Ferguson 9N with a flathead four-cylinder, and a 1962 Jubilee Ford 601 Workmaster. And uh, to this day, my mother still owns them. Actually, they're my brother's now. Uh, the Ford 601 still gets used on a yearly basis. The uh, old 39 Ford Ferguson is uh, still in the family. Needs a little bit of TLC, though. That's cool. You live in Huntington. That's awesome. Uh, I still have uh, both my cousins are still out there along with their father. My, uh, my dad's youngest brother. Uh, I don't know where, you know, whereabouts... Oh, excuse me, they live, but they are in they are in Indiana. Uh, no, I only wanted one of you. <laughs> Just one log. I don't want to push the hydraulics on this thing. It's too cold. There we go. Oh, oh, there we are. And this one's going to have to get loaded this way, so... I'll do some off-roading. Yeah, those tree stumps will get you every time, man. you're talking about because uh, I've only ever visited um, well I was a year old when my parents moved out here so I definitely wouldn't remember that uh, you're talking about Lake Michigan because I don't know of any other lakes in Huntington <laughs> Go do some stomach clearing. Ah, yes, okay. So you guys have school canceled more for fog where you are, no? Still? 
They, my old man, I remember him telling me stories. They used to cancel more for fog than they would for snow. <laughs> Which is not saying much because it's out in the Midwest. They, they tend to get more snow than anything else. Well, that's a decent half load so far. Well, let's get these stumps cleared out of here because they're causing trouble. Uh, put this guy right there. Where is my JCB at? Uh, where did it get left? Yeah, yeah. They have beacons on the buses out there. <laughs> Last time I worked on this map, my oldest was helping me, and he was stump grinding, and it looks like he may have missed some. One or two, anyway. Uh, I know I walked over one from over here. Where is it? Here it is. Man, this JCB don't like the snow. One bit. You'd think it wouldn't have a problem with these tracks on it. Come on, you can do it. There we go. DJ! Man, you made it! What's up, man? Late night? Yeah, I'm not a fan of Fortnite there either, uh, Dave. <laughs> That's a, uh, make a money game, in my opinion. Um, the only reason it's on my PlayStation is because I have kids that play it. Come on. Yeah, there you go. What's up, DJ? What was your night, man? Yeah. I hear that. I'm still awake. It's going probably on about 4 o'clock here, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't looked at my phone in about a half hour. Uh, yeah, it's 4 o'clock on the nose. Check that out. Cool. Are you going to be doing any live streams today, DJ? I need somebody to keep me busy at work. <laughs> nope, I just missed the stump right, right over it. There it is. Come on. Well, I appreciate you swinging by, man. I always do. I love it when you pop on and talk. I love hearing from many fellow YouTubers or anybody who's in the chat. There we go. Word. Now life comes first, man. That's it. I gotta be to work at 12 o'clock today. <laughs> so, I hear you. Dave, I'm only going to be broadcasting for another uh, 15 minutes or so, man. S 
Sweet. Yeah, I hear you there, man. That gets pricey. Uh, Dave, what's your gamer tag, bud? That way when I'm done here I can uh, look you up real quick. Sweet! 4K. You know, I asked one of my coworkers if that really makes a difference the other day. He looked at me like I was uh, I was on something. He's like, bro, you wouldn't believe the difference it makes. Alrighty, man, I'll hit you up as soon as I uh, hop off of here. If you want to go check out another awesome YouTuber, man, uh, DJ Goham Gaming. He's awesome. He's one of the one of the better ones that I like to listen to. Check out all the ones I got in my description. They're all awesome. Sweet. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, no, I mean it, man. I don't. Uh, I don't kiss up to nobody. I wasn't raised that way. If I like somebody, I will I will compliment them. Did you see a uh, uh, farmer men and golf cart jockeys uh, stream with Mud Runner Man? <clears throat> I've heard the term "just send it" before, but uh, farmer men took the cake on that one. <laughs> That reminds me, Stuart needs to do some editing for me this weekend. I got a couple of videos out I think I, I need done. I got one of Oakfield that was supposed to go out before I broadcast on it. And uh, I got one of Ballincraig about 30 or minutes or so, so he's got some work to do this weekend. <clears throat> a little con artist, he's like, am I going to get paid for this? <laughs> Like, uh, no, you're, you're learning, so there's your payment. <laughs> Kid's doing good with his computer electronics. Maybe one day he'll be able to build me a gaming PC. Yeah, check them out all, check them all out, Dave. They're, uh, they're all excellent YouTubers. Uh, I found them through Mr. Sealy P. And, uh, I couldn't have asked for a better group of people to find, honestly. Oh, I'm leading the way in something, man. I, I don't know about what. But <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, so there's all that mess cleaned up, I think. The weather's fighting with me on Oakfield, uh, DJ. I got two fields left I gotta harvest, and they won't, uh, they won't finish growing so I can harvest them. I got a field of corn and a field of soybeans I gotta, I gotta get in, and they won't, they just won't come in. Uh, alright, so that's not gonna climb up there. So, let's go this way. Hey, Carl! Carl keeps popping in and out tonight. I don't know where he's going, but... We're just about finished up here. I got about 10 more minutes worth of work to do uh, on Gold. We, we jumped over to Goldcrest for uh, Mr. Dave's request here. So 
And I haven't been on this map since June, so I figured, uh, figured to get some work done. A little bit of work done, anyway. So, quick tour. This is the secondary forest uh, section on Goldcrest. This is what I've cleared here. And I'm going to shut this down. And we're going to hop over to the farm. And give you a good look as to what I did over here. Old Blue. Old Blue's ready to go for a ride. I haven't started Old Blue all winter. So, check this out. This is what we did on the farm. We changed out that building. We have a water tower in. Um, one of the big ones. We have our tree orchards. Uh, we have our lettuce greenhouse. Uh, apple and orange trees. So, if you look up yonder, <laughs> see that little lone building way up there? Yeah, that's one of the fire towers. Now, for those of you that know this map, that entire hillside was all trees. Check this out. We'll go for a cruise. Ooh! -hoo. All right, you can get up here to the top. You can see I've planted saplings to replace what I took down. And I did it everywhere. So, whatever I cut down, I replaced. Those are going to take five years to grow back. So, I've got new poplars coming in. Or, uh, fir trees. Sorry, not poplars. Coming in all over here. Yeah, it, it's amazing what it, how it changes the landscape, TJ. And this is the fire tower up on that hill. I have uh, the. I got to figure out how to put all my videos in a playlist. The uh, all of this work, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was done on YouTube while broadcasting. So, so let's uh, let's jump up here. Let's jump up here. Yep. Here we go. Perfect vantage point. All of this hill right here, where you see my indicator, all of that was all trees. And all the way over here, <laughs> and down the hillside. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag don't save trees. Hey man, I've only mowed a couple of trees on Spectacle Island, alright? One thing I don't know if I did, I don't know if I, I didn't put up saplings over here, so this hillside has yet to be replanted, so I'm going to have to wait for spring for that. I don't think you can plant those in the winter time. Can you? No, I didn't think so. Actually, I don't know about trees, but whatever. So, yeah, that's that's what I did on this map. Cleared all this off. Made money. Protesters are asleep. Chop down more trees and don't replant them. <laughs> Sweet. Can't wait. I gotta catch up on his uh, ultimate ATS map. Check that out. Those are our mounds of snow that'll be there through all the way through midsummer. And let's see here. Um, where? Oh yeah, there it is. That was my cl snow clearing setup, I think. Nope, that's counterweight. Where is my snow blower? Oh, there it is. Yep. So that and that trailer was my snow clearing setup with one of the small fence and I think the 800 series so let's jump back over here this is my all my equipment inside the barn kind of see in there 
And we have spotlights everywhere. <laughs> I am on Goldcrest at the moment. Yep. This I, I haven't been on this map since uh, I was telling Dave there. I haven't been on this map since June eighth. Been a while. It's too cold to walk over on your login site. So I am coming into my second year of uh, Goldcrest with Seasons. <laughs> yeah, it makes a big difference. No, no, I did Oakfield earlier. Uh, and then I made the mistake of jumping out of Oakfield and I didn't end the stream and start over. <laughs> So that's what I've been doing on uh, this is what I've been doing on Cold Crest, so figured I'd jump over here and give a little taste of uh, change of scenery. Get off my lawn. So we're back on the uh, Turtle Bay $20 headset tonight. Blue stop sign. Oh, that stinks, Carl. What is this? Hmm. Interesting. What is this? Let's run over here. It's not a harvestable field. It can't be. I'm still figuring out the seasons mode on this man. I've seen guys harvesting corn in the summer, in the middle of winter. That's an expensive field. Yeah, it looks like it's barley, but. I don't understand why it's growing in the middle of winter. I mean, unless it's winter barley, I don't know. Uh, that's not supposed to come in until springtime. We got two more days of winter here. Whee! Oh, my bad. Oh, come on. Stay straight. <clears throat> Oh, oh, <laughs> no, cut it out. <laughs> Dang it. There we go. Whee! I'm just going to park that right there. <laughs> All right. Uh, is that on PC? Because I haven't been able to do that on this map. Well, all I can do is hay and uh, straw and silage. <clears throat> I'd imagine you'd be able to do that on uh, PC without any question, because, you know, you guys are cool. <laughs> PC mods all the way, man. I'm down. <laughs> I've got some skill with a chainsaw, man. <laughs> 18 years of cutting wood with the old man, you'll learn a thing or two. <laughs> I really hope they said they add sound effects with trees falling in 19. That would just make my day.
And it's not like it'd be hard to record some trees falling and add it to the uh, add it to the script work. Oh, well that's cool, Carl. I did not know that. Imagine corn could be used too, no? Try that again, shall we? Get a little tighter grip on it. There we go. Oh, we're doing 360s. There we go. Nope. Okay. Nope. That's what we want. Nope. We don't want that. We want to just drag it across the ground. Sweet. Nice to meet you, Riley. My name's Joe. Hammy. <laughs> Dude, all I can think of is Toy Story. <laughs>
DJ, I don't know if you checked it out yet, but I have a longer, a slightly longer video of Be uh, Black Betty up on my page. Or up on my channel. You should check it out. Not much to brag about, but it's pretty cool. DJ Ham, sweet. Ms. Lunatic Com, he was in and out while they were working on their uh, their feed tonight. Weird. Got a long gig tomorrow. No, no, I always mess that up. Dang it. Alright, so we're good with that now. Now, I'm going to load up the rest of these log boys, and that'll be it for tonight. But we will take them over to the uh, sawmill, and we'll see what we can get for them. They're, in, uh, they're, they're on my tail about getting this uh, wood process so they can get their 2x4s and 6x6s made for their contract for the town. Sweet. <sighs> Gotta make it worth your while, man. Always takes longer setting up than tearing down, doesn't it? It's amazing how that works. Well, Dave, thanks for swinging by the chat, man. I really appreciate you checking out the stream and keeping me company. You have a wonderful Saturday, man. <laughs> Come on, get down. There you go, fall down in there. You know you want to. Come on, yes, sweet. Oh, 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 that collision, man. It gets you every time. Alrighty. I wish I knew what you were talking about, Carl. <laughs> I I do follow some of the PC streamers for uh, Farm Sim for uh, YouTube, but uh, only it's only a couple. Uh, Clutch Simulations being one of them, uh, Dagger One being another, and Arthur Chapman. I've been following Arthur for Arthur and Dagger One for quite about uh, probably about as long as I've been. Uh, streaming, if not longer, which is only a couple of years. Oh boy, that was a fail and a half. Oh, come on, back up. Oh. Wow, okay. So, oh, you don't have to stick around, man. I'm just about finished up anyway. I'm past, I've passed my three, mar three hour mark. And if I don't get to bed, I'm going to hear it from the wife in the morning. So, we're going to go drop off this load of wood and make some more money.
Yeah, yeah. There's I only watch Arthur for uh Yeah, no, you don't want to be in the doghouse with my wife, man. T trust me. Um I only watch Arthur's streams for farm sim. Uh, I haven't really gotten into any of the other ones that he's done. The, the, my summer car game, I've heard things about, but it just it doesn't really appeal to me. Even though I'm a gearhead, it's just not my thing. Oh, we got some lag going on there. That was a frame rate drop and a half, man. Wow. Uh, Daggerwind's got three different channels, or two different channels, so... If he's not doing something on one, he's definitely doing something on the other. Uh, his machine restore um, channel, I love. Oh, what is going on with the frame rate drop here? I better save this before this wipes out. It's 4 o'clock my time. I better not be getting ready to shut down my router. Uh, you know what? I, when I saw that come out, it was on Arthur Chapman, uh, on his feed there, uh, and it had just dropped when he got it, and there were still some bugs they had to fix, like the, uh, if you were rebuilding an engine, the block wouldn't mount on the engine stand properly, <laughs> um, uh, we do, it's, well, it's a turtle tank, DJ, <laughs> Uh, we have uh, two two red-eared sliders for pets, along with a cat. And uh, Mr. and uh, or Mrs. Tim's and Mrs. D uh, Mr. Digger uh, reside next to me in the living room. <laughs> so yeah, you're hearing their filter running. <laughs> that uh, their nicknames are Fat Butt, and um, I I can't say the. Uh, I can't, I can't call Mr. Digger by his nickname because I don't want to get a strike on YouTube. <laughs> um, but they're cool. I didn't think turtles would be as cool to own as they are. But uh, The wife talked me into them in the beginning of the year and when we got them they were juveniles. And uh, they're, they grow like weeds once they really start growing. Uh, that's why Mrs. Tim's is called Fat Butt. And... Uh, Mr. Digger will hog the uh, tanning uh, float that they have. It's kind of funny because he'll try his mating dance on her and she'll tolerate it for only so long and finally she'll just get irritated with him and slap him across the face and that's it. <laughs> they're going to need a bigger tank, that's for sure. They're, uh, they're outgrowing their one they're in pretty quick. there uh, DJ you have a good night man rest easy get some sleep I hope you have a good time tonight at your uh, event I don't deal with snapping turtles there Dave <laughs> anybody catch a YouTube video where the, the guy decided it would be a good idea to kiss one that backfired on him <laughs> uh, Carl to answer your question finish answering your question um, the first time I saw Car Mechanic Simulator was on Arthur Chapman's channel. And, um, uh, it did catch my eye, especially with the way, with what you can do. Um, but I don't have a computer, so. So that gave us, uh, that put us back up in the, uh, green there. Yeah, I don't do no ropes either there, Dave. <laughs> I don't do no ropes and I don't do, uh, spiders. 
Uh, PC is on my list of things to do, Carl. Trust me. With what I've seen Daggerwind do with a PC on this game and what I've seen everybody else do, I want it. <laughs> yeah, no probe. I don't do no probes. I can only tolerate Daddy Longlegs. Anything other than that, man? Nope. I scream like a little girl. It's kind of funny being so fact I'm six foot tall and weigh about 350 pounds. <laughs> I might be able to, uh, take it easy, DJ. DJ. Have a good night. I might be able to trade this dolly in. And finally afford a truck. Excuse me. First, I want to check something out here with this field. This field has me intrigued. There's corn growing in the middle of winter. What's going on here? Is this a job? Oh, uh, okay, markers over here. Yeah, I hear you there, Carl. Oh, it's pulling its thing again. I can't do it a job. See, that's this bugs me out. This see, you click on it once and it puts the timer up there, but you can't do anything. And then you click it again and. There's no mission. I don't know what that's about. Haven't done any work for him anyway, so whatever. It's funny how the snow takes down all the road signs. Well, the days are warming up here. It looks like uh, the snow's melting on the side of the roads. Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of snow missing over there now, too. Sweet. Ground's still frozen. Uh, oh, that's what I gotta check. Status of my fields. So. We have nothing planted in my fields. Did I buy 16? I don't think I bought 16. What's in 16? Soybeans? Yeah, no, I don't own 16. Alright, so let's kick over here. Cultivated, cultivated. Why is 15 not cultivated? Fertilized? Yeah, tell me about it. Some of the phrases are way ridiculous. Way out of hand. Um, what do I have in field 15? Let's take a look at this again. Hmm. Did I plant oilseed radish? No. Did I plant grass? I planted grass. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, that's why. Alright. Planted grass so I could uh, get some grass for the sheep I plan on buying. There we go. No, I try not to hit vehicles, uh, Dave. Uh, sometimes my driving can be erratic, but typically it's caused from multitasking. Put my flashies in speaking of it. All right, fellas, uh, that's going to be it. That's three hours, 20 minutes. That's 20 minutes past my uh, ultimate got to stop broadcast time. So I'm going to get this back up to the field while I'm doing that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Thumbs up always help. Comments or suggestions are welcome in the box below. I will answer them. Uh... You have a good night, girl. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, I hope to see you again tonight. I'm home by about 
10 ish, so I will be on again. Um, uh, check out all the YouTubers I have in my description on my channel. Uh, they aren't uh, direct links yet. I'm still working on that. But they are existing YouTubers. So please check them all out. Uh, there's a couple of new ones I want to add. Um, Necro666. Uh, check him out. And uh, Lunatic.com. Uh, go check out their uh, YouTube channels. They do live streams like I do. And they're pretty damn good at what they do, so. Alright, we'll park this back up here. Shut it down. Shut that off. And, uh, Riley, thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, I know it's, uh, you're about an hour behind me in Indiana, so I appreciate you stopping in. Mm, excuse me. Oof, goodness. <clears throat> On that note, again, thanks for watching. And we will see y'all later. Much love.